What a view! I'm Specialist Cleveland Caulfield and welcome to the Zama Pulse. Today is a very special episode. I will be taking you on a journey with me to the top of the most famous mountain in Japan, Mount Fuji. See you at the top. We began our journey here on Mount Fuji already at Station 5 on the Yoshida Trail, which is halfway up the mountain. It'll take us about five hours to get to the top. So, as we begin our adventure, take a look at this. Well, it might not be climbing a mountain, but it is a momentous task to get 109 kids together, all on the same page. That's what volunteers have done for this year's Vacation Bible School at Camp Sama. It, it has been such a great experience, especially with our, having so many youth volunteers. They're getting together, and they're even helping us out with the younger ones. Because who's better at games than kids? Eden's the last person in the line. She has to run to the bucket and empty out as much water as she can from the sponge into the bucket. Then she's going to run back, fill the sponge up again, and she becomes the first one in line for the next people. The Camp Sama VBS is an annual event full of furious fun and gentle learning. Every year features a different theme. This year's was tropical, called Sun Treasure Island. It is not rude. It is not the focus is on friendship, love, and learning, a trinity that touches people's hearts. What's exciting about this is it brings the community together for the sake of the children. We kind of weave uh, the religious support mission, which typically occurs on Sunday, into the week and bring the communities together so that they can give the children an opportunity to appreciate the Word of God in a fun learning environment. But the real effect it has is on the children. I like games and I like crafts. I also like Bible. Reporting from Camp Sama, Japan, I'm Charlie Mabe. Now back to you on the mountain. The view as you trek up Mount Fuji can be simply stunning at times. It's no wonder why people attempt it. Thousands of hikers make their trip every year along the around five kilometer path, but it's not for the faint of heart. And we still got a long way to go, so let's get going. This is no regular hiking trail. The way to the top is filled with danger in the form of gravelly pits and unforgiving rock climbs. The air gets thin too, so it can be hard to breathe. It's popular to get a walking stick that you can have branded at various points along the ascent that serves as a trophy and a monument of your ordeal. And they also come in handy as a way to steady yourself in uneven terrain. And this trek is arduous. But could you imagine doing it with mace in your eyes? Thankfully, the 224th MP company out of Oklahoma didn't have to do that when they visited Camp Zama for training, but they did have to run the gauntlet with Ole Resin Capsucum, or pepper spray, applied to their faces as a part of their military police certification. In level one training, the OC is sprayed directly onto the face. This is level two, where it's merely wiped across the brow. Oh, level two is so much nicer than level one. <laughs> Wouldn't say it's nice in any way, but it's, uh, it's definitely, definitely not as bad. <laughs> we hope they enjoy their time in Japan. And now, it's time for this week's community calendar. And that wraps up the Zama Pulse for this week. As you can see, I am beat up from head to toe because I climbed all the way to the summit of Mount Fuji. I couldn't record anything at the top though, however, because it was rainy, wet, and it just would have ruined our equipment and there would have been no show for you to see. So to redeem ourselves, we promised to add some stock footage and just pretend that I'm in it. And there I am, that little speck right there. Imagine I'm waving. I'm Specialist Claren Caulfield. See you next week.